Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the week 17 weekly update. We're going to start this week taking a look at the Steel Will Arcturus. We got a similar construction to other Steel Will knives with a D2 tool steel blade. Get a high saber grind and a harpoon tip on this one. G10 over stainless steel liners. This one has a nice black stonewash finish on the blade. You've got a little bit of contouring on the G10 handle scales. You've got a reversible tip up only deep carry stainless steel pocket clip and a stainless steel liner lock construction. It is a phosphor bronze washer flipper, but as you can see, it's got a nice flipping deployment. That's going to be in part due to the relatively thick blade stock on here. Got a nice robust point, still pretty fine for piercing, especially with that harpoon swedge there. And this is going to come in two sizes. We've got the mini up top, and that's going to come with a satin finished D2 blade. And then the full size with the black blade there on the bottom. So as you can see, the smaller ones are a little more EDC friendly. They're also gonna come with blasted hardware instead of the black hardware for a less tactical look. Take a quick look for size comparison here. I'll grab the PM2. So the full size is gonna be a little bit larger than the PM2. Blade stock thickness is a little bit thinner, but still pretty robust out to the point. Slightly longer functional grip area, but overall pretty comparable in size. And you're going to get a similar footprint, as you can see, just a little bit longer there and a little bit shorter in the height. And then we'll take a look at that with the mini version. So a little bit smaller on the mini version, but still a little bit longer cutting edge. Similar blade stock thickness, handle thickness, and then again, functional grip area. Pretty close on these, just a little bit smaller on the Mini Arcturus. Next up, we have the Victorinox 2019 Limited Edition Alox color in Champagne. This is the Alox Pioneer. You can see it's got the 2019 engraved on the back panel. Nice champagne colored. Alox handles. We've got this in the Pioneer, the Classic, and the Cadet available while supplies last. And we also have a few lightweight pair of threes from Spider Colef in the full serrated blade. Same construction with CTS BD1 stainless steel, black bi directional textured FRN, compression lock and a deep carry wire clip. These are an excellent choice for a lightweight everyday carry that is going to have great cutting performance in a very compact and lightweight package. And for another compact and lightweight knife design, we have the SBR or Short Blade Rock Eye from Protec. This is a Les George design. You got his logo on the back. Pretty iconic design with the drop point and the jimped thumb swedge. All black aluminum hard anodized construction. We've got a deep carry stainless steel pocket clip set up for right hand tip up only carry. Nice compact design. Even smaller than the Para 3. But as you can see, you've got even just a little more cutting edge on there. So. Very good blade to handle ratio there. Comfortable in the hand. You got a nice solid three finger grip and the handle tapers here to provide a nice solid grip. And of course, as with all ProTech, this is 100% made in the USA with US materials. You've got an acid wash blade finish on a CPM S35 VM blade for excellent cutting performance. And we also have one of the new 2019 Embersons, the Appalachian. 
This is available in black or stonewash finish blade. You can see you've got stonewash flats and satin grinds. Nice clip point profile. Still pretty robust at the tip. You've got a V-ground blade with chisel ground cutting edge. So it is going to be an excellent slicing knife. You've got typical Emerson construction with coarse black G10. Black standoffs on tie liners. Single position right hand tip up only pocket clip. And you've got a thumb disc or wave feature for opening. And this is going to be a great knife for tactical and EDC use, as well as an outdoor folding hunting knife. And then we also have the Emerson Renegade coming soon, another in the hunting style line from Emerson for 2019. Same construction overall. But this is going to have rich light handles, which is a type of paper micarta. Quite a deviation for Emerson, as it is very smooth compared to the coarse black G10. A nice layered look, very rustic for outdoor use. And of course, with micarta, you're going to get similar performance to a G10, especially in the paper. So good durability, weatherproof, and just an overall great handle material option. And last but not least, we have the Benchmade Outlast. This is a new tactical line Benchmade, so it is in the black class. And as you can see, it has two blades. You've got a utilitarian drop point blade of CPM S30V. And then close that up, flip it around, and you have a chisel ground blade of CPM 3V, so ultra tough with a flattened pry end and full serrated edge there for cutting fibrous materials like rope and cloth. We've got what they call their option lock, which is similar to the axis lock, but allows for both blades to function. And then you've got a web cutter in the back here and also a carbide glass breaker tip. Otherwise, construction is pretty standard for Benchmade. You've got textured black G10 for the handle scales, black liners, black FRN backspacer, and a reversible tip-up only deep carry pocket clip. So a little bit thicker than your standard construction, but you get two blades worth of functionality here with the same grade operation. See if I can get that open from the underside there. It is a little tricky, but can be done. And then of course you can always flip it around to the opposite hand to open it with the thumb. Fairly ergonomic and comfortable in the hand. And this is gonna make a great option for military personnel and first responders. And then a little sneak peek, we have a new model coming soon in the boost line. And this one is also going to have a blade of 3V with that asymmetrical chisel grind. And then you've got black and red dual polymer handles, similar to the original boost. So same great assisted design with a new aesthetic and an upgraded blade style there. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. And your week 17 weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like the video below, subscribe to our YouTube channel feed, and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.